Good morning, this is a Shaman Oracle reading for Tuesday, and today I'm reading for Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. And this reading here is for Cancer. Welcome, Cancer. I got the cards ready, so we can start right away. And we do start with the Archangel Animal card, which is the bee. And what is there to say about bees? Well, they do a lot of good work for the earth and mainly they pollinate for the earth. So they are instrumental in the survival of our planet. And they travel enormous distances to collect nectar, to make honey. And wherever they go, they happily pour healing into the land, animals and people. These hives, they are built according to sacred geometry and the angels always sing over them to hold the frequency high. And even the fairies and other elementals gather around the hives to base in this angelic light. The B card reminds you to do everything with joy when you serve others and the planet with your heart open. Changes take place both in the giver and in the receiver. You become one and this spreads oneness throughout the universe. Solidarity and togetherness they grow in consciousness of the world. So Cancer, let your actions be purposeful and allow the higher purpose to work through you and guide you. Then your life flows and the highest good always unfolds for you. The bees also guide you to remember the power and light conferred by the use of sacred geometry. Use its principles in your home and workplace and the angels will sing over you bringing light and peace. Next card is the monology card and the monology card that came out for you is South Node and the South Node relates to a special moon cycle and this card says don't let your past hold you back. The south node, like the north node, is a karmic point, but it's opposite to the north node and relates to the past, perhaps even to past lives. Whatever you are going through and whatever you are asking about, there is a chance that Age old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you envision. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that a situation or relationship you are asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, maybe you even yourself, needs to be released, that there's some kind of addiction going on, or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you are becoming challenged to make some changes, even if Staying where you are feels easier and safe. Attune to the moon and release the past. A relationship is karmic, suggests this card, and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive. Just because you can do something doesn't mean 
you should. The teaching of this card is that the south node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going south. On the horoscope chart, it shows us what we are likely to become obsessed with, but which will probably do us little or no good. The south node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us of the well-known phrase, if you always do what you have always done, you always get what you have always got. So, there needs to be some change made to move away from that saying that you will always get what you always got. Okay? Funny that two cards came out with a mother namely the Divine Mother and the Star Mother for you, Cancer. But it's not very surprising to me because Cancer is a very caring sign and mothers are usually also caring, right? So let's move on to the next card, which is the Priestess of Light Oracle. And out for you came Divine Mother. And the Divine Mother, she is nurturing, compassionate, and she has grace. Surrounded by the golden light of purity and creative power, this beautiful symbol of eternal maternity brings the energy of care and compassion to your life. Whatever gender we identify as, there is a Divine Mother in each of us. It lives in the eternal light that feeds us and nurtures the world through us. It lives in our choices, our tenderness and in our loving energy. First, this card reminds you to prioritize your own self-care. In fact, it's time to become your own loving mother. If you have been dismissing something related to your own needs or preferences, muster up the courage to nurture and prioritize yourself. It's never dishonoring to others when you truly honor yourself. There may be someone who needs some care and compassion from you as well. So open your heart to the opportunity, but remember to strike a balance between the energy you give others and the energy you give yourself. Your loving care will go much further if you stop to fill your own reservoir along the way. On a purely practical level, this card can also herald parenthood for you or someone close to you. The Divine Mother breathes the vital spark into family and fertile productivity into any important creative endeavor you may be conceiving. Call on her gracious assistance and let your creative juices flow. Say this affirmation, Cancer. I choose to increase the tender feelings in my life. As I bring loving care to myself, I expand the energy of love in the world. See again. I choose to increase the tender feelings in my life. As I bring loving care to myself, I expand the energy of love in the world. Last time, I choose to increase the tender feelings in my life. As I bring loving care to myself, 
I expand the energy of love in the world. Last card is Star Mother, and the Star Mother is from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. And the Star Mother says or asks, How can you mother yourself? And this card is an inquiry card. The deck has different cards like confirmation, inquiry, action, activation, and transmission cards. And Star Mother is an inquiry card. You are more held than you could possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew, you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Lay all of your worries, regrets, shame and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear, says this mother. You are love in motion if you allow it. You are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. So be compassionate with your sweet body, mind and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this and the mother has got you. So let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world of your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of the earth, says Star Mother. And ask yourself, Cancer, how can you mother yourself? That was your reading. Thanks for listening, Cancer. I wish you a wonderful day. I wish you a great week ahead. Take care and goodbye.